Welcome back to Porifest Gaming guys, this is Ascendance here and I am excited to bring to you the second half of our in-depth Monarch guide. In part 1, we had a real close look at all the stats and abilities Monarch has to offer, so if you want to refresh yourself on some of those damage numbers and other details, please go and check it out. I'll post a link in the description to help you find it. This video will be divided into three different subjects. First, I'll go over some general Monarch tactics, and then we will talk about different ways that you can build Monarch and set up her upgrades for some wildly different playstyles. And then to finish off, I'll discuss how she counters and is countered by other Titans, and how she relates to other Titans in the meta. So let's jump right in. Using Monarch effectively comes down to understanding her role. She plays best as a backline support, dealing high damage at long to medium range. Although you can use her effectively up close, the lack of an actual shield ability means that you tend to lose a lot of health on the front lines. You want to avoid losing any health at all, because Monarch's whole point is to stay alive for ages until she's able to upgrade to tier 3, where she becomes an absolute monster. So that means you want to be shooting over the back of other tankier titans if possible. Now her chain gun with high damage and its good range is your best friend. It is also the main tool you will use to build up your core charge. And this is your main source of damage output, not your rocket salvo. In a straight up fight, when going for raw damage, stick to using the chain gun, and don't worry about the rockets unless you are guaranteed to land the entire salvo, say if it's in a long corridor and they're not moving, or the enemy's right up in your face. The energy siphon has a number of uses, and none of them are to deal damage. This ability really needs to be prioritised and saved for you to protect yourself, by slowing an enemy for you to escape, or by gaining a little bit of shield. You can also use the slow ability offensively, but only when you are not in danger yourself and you're closing in on a kill, probably with teammates upon your flank. Remember that it has a cooldown of 13 seconds, which is why it is good to use rearms specifically to allow you to use the siphon more often. Rockets cool down fast enough that rearm isn't particularly helpful for them, unless you are working on a specific rocket build, but I'll go into that in more detail later on. Monarch is certainly very versatile, so there are many ways to play her even before we start discussing the different setups and builds. But try to do as much damage as possible, as this charges your core, and always try to have at least some shield up. If you lose the shield, try to escape the fight and re-fortify from a distance. Now as for the rocket salvo, this needs to be viewed as an ad control weapon, not a main damage dealer. It is excellent at killing pilots and bots up close, especially when they are hiding inside buildings or behind cover where your chain gun can't quite reach. Now against titans, firing down long corridors as you pull back to reload and get to cover can offer you some extra protection in a gunfight, as enemy titans see the rockets, have bad nightmares about tone, and run away. Because when you use your core ability it refreshes your shield, you can have a massive upper hand in a fight by activating it in the heat of battle. It's like an instant health boost. But then again, it is not generally a good idea to wait until your current shields drop before activating your core, unless you already have the tier 3 upgrade. This is because as soon as you use your core, you can begin to build your next core. So using it straight away is generally advisable, and the fastest way to hit tier 3. Alrighty, so speaking of those core upgrades, what are some of the builds that are fun to run with? I'll count up in order of effectiveness, so stick around to the end if you want to hear about what is the most effective and powerful setup in my opinion. Firstly, let's talk about Support Monarch. This is a build which is more fun than effective, and suits players who want the closest thing that Titanfall 2 has to a healer. It relies on hitting tier 1 nice and fast and using the energy transfer upgrade to provide shields to teammates, and then provide backline support with the chain gun. You should also be taking the Rapid Rearm Monarch Kit to help with this, as more rearm means more shields for your teammates. Combine this with the Energy Field Tier 2 upgrade and you can actually give multiple friendly titans shields with a single shot. As for Tier 3, both the Superior Chassis and the Accelerator are good choices, but it's not really critical. The idea here is to deal plenty of damage with your chain gun, but from afar, so you are not at risk of losing health. This is really important because all your shield generation capability is applied to your frontline teammates. This can be effective when you get momentum, and your team has 4 or so titans that are continually topping up with the energy field. But if it is just you and a friend trying this out, you'd be better off focusing on just dealing damage. 
Unfortunately, the viability then of Support Monarch is quite limited. Moving on now to the second major build is Rocket Monarch. In this setup, you focus on maximizing her rockets until they are your primary source of damage. For this one, you will need Missile Racks as your Tier 1 upgrade and Tracker Rockets as your Tier 3 upgrade. For Tier 2, it doesn't really matter, but if you want to save your rockets for enemy titans, then Electric Smoke is really useful for dealing with pilots, so I probably recommend Maelstrom. For the Monarch kit, you will want either Energy Thief or Rapid Rearm. Energy Thief will help you hit Tier 3 faster, but Rapid Rearm will make you more effective when you actually get there, as the Tracker Rocket upgrade actually slows the cooldown of your Rocket Salvo significantly, hence Rearm becoming even more vital to the build. To play this build, you need to deal damage, and then use Energy Siphon and good positioning to stay alive until you hit Tier 3. Then you peek out at your opponents with barrages of missiles while tanking any incoming fire on your shield, rearming, and then repeating the process. The final build I would like to talk about today is my personal favourite, and I find it by far the most effective, and have had great success with it. So I will discuss it in a little bit more detail. We know that the most devastating part of Monarch's kit by the maths is her chain gun. So this uses it to maximum potential. Take Arc Rounds at Tier 1, and then the Accelerator at Tier 3, and create the ultimate weapon. This will seriously put the Predator Cannon to shame. It is absurd how fast it shreds Titan health bars. And due to the Arc Round upgrade, it can also make a joke out of almost all Titan defenses. To support this build, I would definitely run Maelstrom in Tier 2, because in my opinion it is the most powerful of those options, as the bonuses from the other upgrades are situational at best, or very minor in the case of Rearm and Reload. However, the ability to doom a Legion in seconds just by jumping on them with smoke is so, so strong. Now combining all this with the Energy Thief perk to gain your charge even faster, as well as steel batteries, is a great idea too. The Super Chain Gun and Smoke combined will strip health incredibly fast, giving you plenty of execution opportunities. Now this is in my opinion the most powerful form that Monarch can attain, as both the Arc Round upgrade and the Accelerator upgrade are incredible, especially when they combine. Now you may be asking yourself at this point, where does Superior Chassis fit in? Well, it's not a bad perk, in fact it's a very good upgrade, but the way I see it is this. Superior Chassis gives you 5,000 additional health and immunity to critical hits, but the Accelerator increases your damage output from the Chain Gun by 20%. This means that not only will you be dealing more damage to enemies, you will obtain subsequent core charges very, very rapidly, which means faster shield refills. Each refill is 2,500 points of protection, so in the long run you will protect yourself more through the extra damage you deal if you are careful with your positioning. That being said, the Accelerator is only really good when combined with the extra clip size from Arc Rounds. If you are running something other than Arc Rounds, then Superior Chassis is an equal if not better choice. But my question would then be, if you are not doing the rocket build, why are you not running Arc Rounds? Because it's probably the best perk that Monarch has access to. Unless of course you are going for Support Monarch, in which case, Good luck. The last note I have on Titan setup is that forever question of Overcore versus Extra Dash. Here, Overcore seems like the obvious choice with that massive head start to generate Core Charge, as Core Charge is really, really important to Monarch, much more so than many other Titans. But never underestimate what added mobility brings to the table, and the Extra Dash synergizes really well with Energy Thief as well, helping you boost in to steal those executions. I suppose what I'm trying to say is it's not a clear cut decision, and you really need to think which is going to bring you the most benefit. Alrighty, so to finish off, I will briefly touch on each Titan, and how to deal with them as a Monarch. With Ion, it initially seems that Ion is going to counter a Monarch. I mean, Ion has the capability to reflect or block pretty much everything that Monarch sends it away. But there are quite a number of things you can do about it. So, with Ion, it's very important to have at least a bit of shield when you engage. This will protect you from the critical damage of her laser shot. Now try to time your own energy siphon carefully, so as not to hit her vortex shield. And don't bother with rockets. A good Ion will just be able to catch them and then toss them back. 
Also, please don't chain gun into a vortex shield for your sake and for the sake of your teammates, unless you have arc rounds. If you do, Ion becomes easy, easy pickings. Just point and shoot, and then watch them flounder with no energy until they die. Scorch is also pretty easy. Fire your chain gun and rockets if you need at range. Unless the Scorch has you surprised or trapped, then you shouldn't have any problem with this very troubled Titan. If you are trapped, I hope you have the Maelstrom upgrade ready, and then you can look forward to your free battery with Energy Thief. Most of us have figured out by this point that Monarch is a pretty good counter to Ronin. Your shield prevents their arc wave from slowing you, and you can blast them with the chain gun at range. And slowing a Ronin with the energy siphon really breaks their momentum. Also, remember that smoke is your best friend. The Maelstrom upgrade again will absolutely wreck any Ronin that does manage to get the jump on you. Moving on to North Star, North Star is probably your biggest worry. A good North Star will peak you at range, and there is nothing you can do about it. So pick your battles. You will not win a corridor fight with a half decent North Star, so don't try to. You really want to surprise them, get as close as you can, stun them with the energy siphon on the way in, drop a smoke or two, and start shooting a lot. North Star doesn't have enough health to get out of this if you can strip them down to doomed before they escape with that incredible speed. Tone is another potential worry for Monarch, especially because there's not much you can do if they get that core ability off. Remember that Monarch is the only Titan without a super powerful ability every few minutes, and this is one of Tone's biggest advantages over her. If you take that away through good positioning and breaking line of sight when the core's activated, you can certainly match if not beat a Tone in the neutral game at mid-range. Get up close and use smoke offensively, and you shouldn't have too much trouble either. Lastly, Legion is too slow to be a big problem if you pick your battles correctly. As long as you don't get caught in the open or get hit by the power shot too many times, you should be fine. Remember that Arc Rounds will shred through the gun shield, and Maelstrom and Energy Thief turn Legion into a free battery up close. In its ultimate form, the chain gun matches the Predator Cannon pound for pound, and it doesn't even need to charge, so you have an automatic advantage right there. So that is it for part 2 of our Monarch Guide. Thank you so much for watching, and please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Remember that Monarch is a really diverse and versatile Titan, and what I've mentioned here is just my opinion of what is the most effective way to put it all together. If you have other ideas, please let us know, we would love to hear about it in the comments. Until next time, this is Ascendance from 4FS Gaming.